welcome to the series that we announced we're gonna build and as our first episode what we're gonna do is import this scene this garage scene inside of unity so everything you see in here is going to be imported inside of unity so before we create our unity project we want to make sure that we have this universal render pipeline selected so having that selected give your project a name and hit create so this is what you start up with if you hit the unity universal render pipelines and the very first thing we want to do is uncheck this auto generate then what we're going to do is delete everything we see in here and import our need for speed garage okay after some time i imported this garage from need for speed uh, garage this is the same garage that is inside of need for speed it just it has this huge sky map it is style like need for speed so what we're going to do is simply remove that replace it with our own because it looks a little bit more natural and I think it's a little bit better. Okay, now obviously this car cannot be used since it's all messed up with these uh, polygons. So we're going to delete it. This is obviously the camera that looks down at the vehicle. And now what we're going to do is import a random vehicle so we can have a reference to it. Okay, I brought a golf inside our scene as you can see in here and if you're wondering what these are these are basically particles that were created while importing this scene from need for speed over at unity so these are basically particles generated by a particle generator so we're going to delete that in between the episodes and for now we're going to focus on the vehicle itself so if we go to the scene view or I sh or should i say the game view we're going to see that the camera looks at the car in a sideways look if we go ahead and look at the game itself, the need for speed itself, we're going to see that the camera looks at this car in a sort of angular view. And the car is slightly displaced from where we see it in Unity. So let's try and recreate that. Okay, so this is how the game looks like. If we compare it to the actual need for speed, I would say it looks very, very similar. If we remove these particles, maybe we will have a better view. Okay, so that's all we're going to do in this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is the camera movement. So like in, in this game, the camera kind of moves when you go to like a different event that you want to try. As you can see, it kind of it kind of lurps between locations. And also make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what what you want to do next in this series.